we've mentioned some of this, but I, I'd love to get your opinion on having seen things gone wrong. How much, and having mentioned Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, how much fighting do you think is okay in a relationship? And how to resolve the fights such that they, they, they don't escalate to that disconnection? Is there some wisdom you have for that? I imagine you've seen some epic fights. Yeah, I, you know, it's very, I've seen some crazy fights. Yeah. I, I have, even on my phone, I, I, I have uh, some recordings. Cause now there's, you know, cameras everywhere. It's like nest cams and, you know, ring cams. And so a lot of this gets recorded. And, um, and people, you know, have phones so readily available that they can record and the other person doesn't know it. And I listen to the way people speak to their, first of all, I listen to the way people speak to each other and I'm shocked. I listen to the way people speak to their romantic partner, to their spouse, and I'm, I'm blown away. Like I'm blown away. Disrespect or what? Just disrespect, insults, profanity, just degradation, just brutality, just, just, and then like to then kind of go on like, the next day, you kind of go on like nothing happened. I, I, I don't. I, I'm shocked by it. I mean, I I listen to it and I think like, I, if someone ever spoke to me that way, I don't know that I could ever really feel deep connection to them like freely. I, I would feel so betrayed, like that they just so brutal. Right. Like I can't imagine speaking to someone that way. Like it's saying you you just uh, such vicious insults to someone. You know, like I. But I, I, I understand that's how some people communicate, perhaps. I guess the, the question of how much fighting is too much fighting in the relationship is, for me, a bit like the question, how much sex is enough sex in the relationship? Yeah. It, it, it depends on the two people and their individual tastes. But what's problematic is when there is a disconnect between the two people. Sure. Like, so if, you know, there's a, I think it's Annie Hall. It's one of the Woody Allen films where Diane Keaton and Woody Allen are both talking to their respective therapists about the relationship, you know, but it's like a split screen. Yeah. And she says, I mean, we have sex all the time. We have sex like once a week. Yeah. And he goes, we never have sex. We have sex like once a week. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it's funny because it's true. It, it, it really is this, you know, they both know the same data, but they're interpreting that data set completely differently. And I, I think, it, it, you know, the question you have to start asking is like, what is, you know, Steve Harvey actually once said something funny to me. He said that success is not where you are. Success is where you are in relation to where you started. <laughs> Yeah. He says, because if success is where you are, Oprah's got us all beat. Yeah. Or maybe Elon's got us all beat. Yeah. I don't know. But if it's where you are versus where you started, because there's a lot of people that started on second and, you know, started on third act like they hit a double. Mm -hmm. You know, like, well, I was given 10 million, but then I turned it into 100 million. Well, the first million's the hardest. So, yeah. you know, come on. But I, I think the question of like, how much sex were we having? at the beginning of the relationship, that might be the wrong gauge. Cause that's like, we couldn't keep our hands off each other and we just, it's novelty. But you know, like how far, well, how much sex we're having post children versus before the children, that might be worth looking at. You know, like how do we compare it? You know, like, am I overweight compared to what? When I was 20 and running marathons or most 50 year old men? I don't know. I gotta, I gotta, like, what do you compare it to? So I think fighting, there are some people that, I think they enjoy fighting. Like they enjoy argument. Mm -hmm. You know, I know people that enjoy political debate. I don't particularly enjoy political debate. Not that I'm not very interested in political concepts, economic concepts. I just, I argue for a living. So in my free time, I, I don't find argument that enjoyable mm -hmm. when it's intense. Um, I find that's, discussion more interesting. That's so interesting that you, you just keep the battle to that particular, to your, your main profession and everywhere sure. else you want peace. Well, did you ever, you know, Bob Bob Goldthwaite, Bobcat Goldthwaite, yeah. the comedian, very, very funny. And he had a whole second chapter as like a director and a writer. But he has this, you know, I saw an interview with him once where he said, you know, yeah, he says like, I'm a comedian. I've been a comedian a long time. People always come up to me and they're like, oh, you're a comedian. Do you want to hear a joke? 
Yeah. He's like, and all I can think is, oh yeah, that'd be a real fucking treat. Yeah. Like I haven't heard jokes all day, all yeah. night for years. That would be a real special occasion. Yes. Yeah. Like I, I get it, you know? Uh, yeah. And I mean, a sadder story. I've, I've been reading quite a bit about Robin Williams and yeah. his wife would talk about how quiet and introspective and thoughtful and intellectual he was and right. not really that humorous in his private life. But, but that may be a function of... Um, you know, that it is enjoyable to be the other thing, Yeah. you know? One of the things I've always thought was very um, funny in relationships, my own relationships, is most women I know who have a husband who doesn't wear a suit every day for a living, um, when their husband gets dressed up, like they're going to a wedding or something, they get like, oh my God, look at, like, look at him, you know? Um, and I wear a suit every day, you know, on the weekends I don't, I wear like jeans and a black t-shirt, but the rest of the time I wear a suit. And I remember, I, I think this has been true in every relationship I've been in since I was a lawyer, including my ex-wife. It, it was always like, if I had on jeans and I wasn't shaven, it was like, look at you. Like, look yeah. at, you know, it's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, like, I'm, like, really? Yeah. Like, whereas the suit, they wouldn't even notice. Wouldn't yeah. even notice the suit. Sometimes the other thing. Well, that's what it is. It's the novelty of the other thing. So I think that if, if you're Robin Williams and you're like being shot out of a cannon in terms of your performative style and your energy and explosive, mm -hmm. yeah, being quiet must be very refreshing. Like I imagine, you know, incredibly intelligent people must love just watching stupid humor or having a dumb, it's why some of the smartest people I know mm -hmm. like really dumb shit, <laughs> you know? It's why like Rick and Morty, I think, is brilliant because yeah. it's both smart yeah. and dumb. Yeah. You it's know? a perfect combination. It really is. Yeah. It's I think it's possibly the perfect show.